the universe wanted me to do a do-over. So today is March 14th, and let's see what it has to say. I'm on the hunt for who I have not yet become unknown. Should I hunt for who I have yet to become? What if it's possible that from a broader perspective, I am already who I'm meant to be? Could this be the culture I live in that's talking? The culture that pushes the ego's agenda, which says there's something missing in me and I need to find it and fix it? What a relief it could be to entertain the idea that I need not fix myself because I am already exactly as I should be. I am in a human body and along with this human experience comes a palette of amazing emotions I am meant to feel. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I would ha have them. Otherwise, why would I have them? Wouldn't it be helpful to believe that there's nothing I need to hunt for? That there's nothing I need to do or acquire or pursue? If I just spend some time in quiet contemplation, staring at a sunset, watching the ocean, or taking, talking, taking in a mountain, <laughs> Does this often, doesn't this often create some feeling in me that is peaceful or that just simply feels good? In these moments, I did nothing to create this feeling. The feeling just came when looking at something that can be awe-inspiring. What if these moments are moments where I'm actually tuning in to the most authentic part of me? the part of me that need not do anything specific to feel good. If tapping is, what if tapping is a tool I can use to clear away enough of the world's programming so that I have more of these moments? Thought for the day, what if today I can spend three to five minutes looking at something in nature and see what happens? And this is out of 365 days to embracing forbidden emotions. A Daily Guide to Peace and Fulfillment. Um, so I remember when I was at a 12-step group, I was in my 20s when I was living in Chicago, and the thought came to me, like, oh God, nothing's missing in me. Like I had this idea that I had to bring all this stuff into me, and that it was like, no, that's not the truth. It's clearing out the muck so that who I truly am can come through. I did not have tapping back then. It was either at least a decade. No, longer than that. It was like two decades <clears throat> after that that I found tapping. So again, that's how I see tapping clears the muck out so that we can remember the truth of our being. So let's just tap. Karate chop. Even though I probably have a belief that there's something missing in me, What if that's not true at all? Even though I probably have a belief that there's something missing in me, I deeply and profoundly accept myself anyway now. Even though I bet I adopt, adopted a belief from this culture that there's something missing in me. I have to find and fix what's wrong with me. What if I could see this differently now? And go to the eyebrow. There's something missing in me. What if there's not? Yeah, there's something missing in me. What if there's not at all? There's something missing in me. What if there's not? What if this is just a belief I adopted from a crazy culture that pushes the ego's agenda? What if I can wake up from this nightmare and realize there's nothing wrong with me. There's nothing missing in me. What's going on here 
is I have a lot of programming in place that's like the clouds blocking out the sun. And what if, as I start to find relief from this programming, things start to shift and change for me? What if that becomes really possible? That I start to see there's nothing missing in me at all. Everything I need is already in me. I just have beliefs that tell me there's something missing. But what if, as I unhook from these beliefs, I start to see the truth of my being. I start to remember everything I need is already within me. And as the clouds move out, the clouds of self-limiting beliefs, my natural state of being has a space to come shining through. And I remember that I'm totally, utterly worthy, totally deserving of every good thing. I just fell asleep to these truths. And what if inspirations come to me that guide and direct me to all the steps I need to take that bring me back to fullness into a life I really love. I love the idea that this is possible. And I love the idea that there's nothing wrong or missing in me. It's just these clouds of limitation have covered over the truth of me. And the more those get released, the more I remember my truth and my outside life reflects that back to me. I love this idea a lot. So take a breath, Marsha. Always great to see you here. You, did you have the time change in Brazil yet? I don't think you guys, maybe you do, because we're like three hours and then five hours difference. It's really interesting because um, I have a client down there. Um, so uh, it, it was such an awakening for me to go, oh my God, like there's, in my 20s, there's nothing missing in me, but I went back into the, you know, the lion's den and was like, oh my God, I, you know, I forgot the truth of my being. It's like, no, there's nothing missing. I just have these learned limits that are blocking the truth of my being. And as we start to release those, then who we are natural. Ah, yeah, okay. Let me think. Yeah, so three hours, because we just changed. So I know there's sometimes, um, the, the gal I know is in Sao Paulo. So anyway, thanks. So 12, yeah, three hours difference. Well, great to have you here. And um, what if today you can all just remember who you are? Oh, oh no, that's great. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, you speak your native language, that's awesome. I can look it up and translate it. <laughs> That's awesome. I love seeing it. All right. Have a great day. And um, that's it. And see you back here tomorrow for the uh, 15th. All right. Bye for now.